Hi guys. So, um, I wasn't going to vlog today, but but um, we are going to go out for lunch and go to Shibden, which is a local park. If you've watched Gentleman Jack, it's there. <laughs> Bring Gentleman Jack back, hashtag. Um, so I'm just packing Iris a little pack lunch because the place that we go for lunch, we go all the time. Um, and basically, she's Iris is quite picky eater. We get her some sausages there and then we take her a little pack lunch and they don't mind. They're okay with it. Um, so I'm just going to get her some little raisins, little bakes. She loves these. And she started to hear like these are like yogurt coated strawberries. I tried because I used to have them as a kid and I tried to get Iris on them before and she was very unsure but now loves them loves them what else um Iris <laughs> is this healthy I mean it's all fruit quavers Iris loves quavers um, so she'll have little sausages these I'll take her some yogurts because the girl loves yogurt. The girl loves yogurt. And Iris um, only drinks water. Does that mean? My mum always tells me that I had juice as a kid. But I don't know. They don't need juice. If she's drinking water, what's the point? She'll thank me in the end, she'll have really nice teeth. I'm currently warming Atlas a bottle up in the bottle warmer to take down because he's due a milk soon and we don't know how long we're going to be out. So I've got another one, put it in this, keep it nice and cold until we need it, then we'll just put in some warm water. Guys, I just remembered, so I've got this book about Shibin Hall because last year basically the whole holiday situation when we took Iris we came back early and I was like to Will I was like to Will we are not going back to work or anything we're still having a holiday but at home we're doing every, something every day so one of the days we went to Shibden Hall because I hadn't been in literally years so went to Shibden Hall because we'd started watching Gentleman Jack you see and I was like I really want to go and look in so we got this book and it literally tells you everything. Can you see this? Probably not. <laughs> everything about Shibden. It's history. It is a really nice building if you're ever in the area to go. And all the grounds are really nice. There's a little duck pond, which Iris loves. Every time we just we, we go down the hill and she starts going, duck, duck, duck. She just loves them. Will's just shouted to me. And basically there is um, a river, like a little stream running through and it's called the Red Beck because, is it the water that's red? It's the iron that, uh, uh, deposits that are like orange. I don't really hear that. It's the iron deposits in the water that are like orange. So that's why it's called the Red Beck. Full knowledge of that one. He's, Will's actually got a channel, aren't you Will? <laughs> Will's got a channel that he hasn't posted on in a while. It's called Walking with Will. Um, he started in lockdown because I was pregnant and Will just went out walking. I was working from home at the time. And Will, um, he works in a bar, he's a bar manager. So obviously all bars were shut. So he was just going round um, on loads of walks, loving it. So he's just started videoing his walks. So he's got loads of really good walks around the area. So if anyone's into walking, hop over to Walking With Will. He hasn't posted in a while, but there's still um, a few videos on there um, of really good walks. They're, they're really long walks. It's not, a, it's not a stroll, it's a it's a walk. Right, we're off. I locked the door. Yeah. We're off. So we're going out. Like Hi guys, my name is Will and welcome to our channel. So we, um, <laughs> I just realised. Check out my shoes. 
We've got matching shoes. I haven't got mine on. I got first though. I just, bought it. Just saying, this. and then then Grace went, oh. I bought them. For yeah, for me, because I said those ones are mine. Anyway, so we just realised we were like, oh my god, we haven't got Atlas's um, pram. We've only got the double buggy, and the place that we're going is not big enough to just have a double buggy next to a table. So um, it's at the mum's. It's in the mum's garage, basically. Yeah, guys, this is Will. Why been like that? <laughs> this bit, I'll do a little. You know, like a little. A time lapse. Yeah. Where are you? At Mum's to get the pram. Very aggressive with my shopping bags. Yeah, the place where we're going for lunch is Mammal. It stands for middle-aged men in lycra. It's a like um, bike themed, like for cyclists. So our mum's helping now. Look. Baby, baby, baby. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Where is it? Look. Can we go for dinner, please? Yeah. Bye, I love you. Yeah, they've had to get the mum and dad have had to get the drive region because there's a crow that keeps um, pecking out the in-between bit, I don't know what it's called. Is it called a pointing? It's called a pointer on a house, so maybe it's the same. It keeps um, picking out all the bits in between the stones, so then the stones are loose. So they're having to get it redone. I don't know what they're gonna do about the cross situation, like. We, um, we did just have a little mini meltdown, because she wanted to empty all the raisins onto the table. Right, we've just finished our lunch and we have realised that we are not going to have enough time to go to Shibden. No time. No time. No time. No time. No time. We'll go another time, we'll go next week. Oh no, shall I tell you what we're doing next week? We're going to the Great Yorkshire Show. So I'll fetch you along then. But we will definitely go to Shibden because we do go to Shibden. I could, I've just realised that this angle, I look really tall in comparison to you. Is it closer? And my head looks gigantic. S small and far away. Yeah, haha. What's that reference? <laughs> Out of the dead. No, I, I knew that. I was saying, what's that reference to them? Oh, sorry. Keep taking that copium. Do you have. A really, I don't, I don't get that reference. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Um, do you have a really short you're not body? Down, you're not down with kids, that's why. What is it? You gonna tell me? A copium sounds like opium, doesn't it? And you take opium, right. and it's just a corp. You take your copium. But what is it? Just air? Nothing. It's nothing. It's a. <laughs> It's not a material thing. Yeah. It's like just relax. <laughs> yeah, it's like taking a chill pill. Yeah. Oh yeah, guys, you learn something new every day. Copium. Stick with me. Instead of take a chill pill. So we've got. Um, bluebells. In These are bluebells, it's lavender. Lol. Oh, look at all the bees. There's all different kinds of bees. I'm pretty sure this little, these little ones here are um, little bumblebees, you know, that make honey. There's actually, <laughs> there's actually <laughs> loads of them. Look, then there's a big, 
Or is that a bumblebee? No, these they are the little ones are definitely honeybees. I think that's a bumblebee. There's one over there, look, with an orange bum. He's just all black and orange bum. This is unbelievable, actually. I don't think I've ever looked at a bee so close. I've never seen this many different types of bee. Look, can you see him over there? I've never seen one like that. He's just got an orange bum. Ah! <laughs> that little guy caught me off guard. <laughs> We've been gone. <laughs> We've been gone for two hours and you haven't moved. Right guys, and we're off again. Just me and you this time because I'm going to go get some Botox. Now I know everyone doesn't agree with it, but I have got wrinkles here and I do not want them. I don't want them. Right guys, she's back. Let's head on home. So, <clears throat> I got Botox, I got it for here, and I got it really high on here, just because I had, well, I had like um, a few lines coming on my forehead, but I didn't want to get it too low down because I didn't want my eyebrows to drop. Um, the lady, that's the first time I've ever been to that lady, she was really nice. Um, oh, as well, um, before she actually did the Botox, she, um, did me like a little peel. So if I'm looking glowy, that is why. Guys, I've ripped a hole in my leggings. A massive hole from the back of the high chair. Hang on, I'll show you. This little thing, I just got my my living room is all Iris's toys. Full on hole. Ah. Hey guys, so I'm currently just chopping everything up for mine and Will's tea. I am making us, oh, a little bit of broke there. Making us a tray bake um, because Will is a vegetarian. I'm off my chicken and rice diet that I've been on for the past three weeks because I put on two pound. <laughs> well, I looked to be fair, I lost seven and then put on two. So in total, five pound. Um, which is not, in three weeks, is not a big enough loss for me to just eat chicken and rice, you know? Tray mix so easy to get everything in there and then you can just heat it up the next day and it's just as nice. I've got, what have I put in it? Uh, cauliflower, broccoli, peppers, courgette, and onion. Sometimes I put halloumi in today, I'm not. Um, what was, oh, the cauliflower, yeah. So because I've used the whole cauliflower, I put all the rubbish in there. So And um, also, does anyone know why they put a cauliflower in a bag anyway? Like the cauliflower doesn't need a plastic bag. The cauliflower's got leaves protecting it. Ooh. Put some mushrooms in there. I love a roasted butter, um, button mushroom. Now, some people wash mushrooms, don't they? But apparently, they're like a sponge. So, apparently, you're not supposed to wash them, but... I mean, it's only me and we're eating it. There's no little people eating it. And I mean, mud. A bit of mud. Go for you. It's the earth. Um, <laughs> that's maybe a little bit too much mud. Um, yeah, it's not going to kill you, is it? A bit of mud. So... I don't wash them. Some people peel mushrooms. Peel mushrooms? Who's got bloody time for that? Not me, I'll tell you that. So in here, I've got all the veg. I have put cumin, garam masala, and um, smoked paprika and some salt and pepper. I'm gonna shake this all together now and then pop it in the oven. Guys, 
I forgot to film the outcome of the trip. <laughs> I am, um, I will get better. Um, and the next one that I'm like, the next meal that I make on here, I'll show you the actual outcome. Um, not just, you know, just imagine, just imagine some peppers, some cauliflower onions all roasted. Me and Will are watching The Witcher. Um, season three has just recently come out, but I'm like, we're not, basically, we're, me and Will, we're hardcore Henry Cavill for The Witcher. After this, we're not watching anymore. <laughs> After season three, when it's not Henry, we aren't watching anymore. So I was like, right, <clears throat> since it's the last, last season, um, we're going to watch it from season one all the way through. So that's what we're gonna gonna do tonight. We're gonna, not not all of it tonight, obviously. There's not enough time in the night. Um, but yeah, we're gonna start watching The Witcher again. Um, so I will leave you here, and I will see you next time, guys. Peace and love. <laughs>